Hello everyone and welcome back. I am as always Inquisitor Aura and this is how to RP in WoW and today we are going to be taking a look at the trolls. Please note these are just guidelines to socially acceptable RP in WoW. There is pretty much a niche for every type and style of RP. What I'm putting out here are the generally accepted guidelines that will not get you ridiculed. Now, the first thing that I think is, is the most important thing to go over when RPing a troll or when wanting to RP a troll is to note that most of you are going to be Dark Spear, Revan Tusk, or Shatter Spear trolls. Now, the reason I say this is because these three tribes are the only troll tribes who either joined or allied with the Horde at some point in time. Now, I'm not saying you can't RP as a Drakari or an Amani or anything of that nature. What I am saying, though, is that if you are not a Dark Spear, a Revan Tusk, or a Shatter Spear, you better have a damn good reason to have abandoned your tribe. None of those tribes is allied with the Horde. In fact, they are enemies of the Horde, as well as the Alliance. Probably one of the most overlooked things that people always seem to forget about the trolls is that once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, trolls dominated Azeroth. The Gurubashi and Imani empires dominated Azeroth and split the powerful An-Akir empire in half back when the world was still unbroken. Along these same lines comes the realization that the trolls were on Azeroth before the Titans even showed up. They were also the ones who first discovered the Well of Eternity, and it is widely believed that the Dark Trolls who settled on the shores of the Well of Eternity eventually evolved into the Night Elves. All of this leads us down to one overwhelming thing that I see almost zero troll RPers doing. Trolls are mean. They are violent. They are uncanny. They are sneaky and they are ruthless. They have lived on this planet dealing with the the Karaji and the old gods since before the arrival of mankind before humans, before dwarves, before orcs, before elves, before everything else, there was always the trolls. And they have been dealing with all of the messed up crap that we have been dealing with since the dawn of time. This lends trolls a sinister kind of intelligence. And they are not afraid to do whatever it takes to get what they want or get what they need. Another thing I see a lot of troll RPers doing are the Zul prefix and the Jin suffix. Now, it's important to understand that these only apply to certain people in certain situations. Zul, for instance, is the prefix for a witch doctor. Now, that could be any spellcasting class at this point. Um, so that we, I will leave that entirely up to you. But Jinn is only granted to tribal leaders. There is only one Jinn allied with the Horde, and he is currently the war chief, and that is Vol Jinn. There should be no one else out there with the Jin suffix attached to their name. And probably one of the last things that I, th I know a lot of troll RPers either don't seem to know or don't really particularly care about, which kind of breaks my heart either way, is that the trolls are just as xenophobic as the orcs are. I know there are a lot of orc RPers out there right now who are very unhappy with the fact that Vol'jin is the war chief of the horde because they think he's too nice of a guy. I know a lot of people out there are f upset with the fact that Vol'jin is war chief of the horde because he was willing to kill Garrosh for it, to prevent him from doing what Garrosh did in the end. I would like to point out to you that that is perfectly in keeping with the troll 
mentality and troll society. That is how they do things. That is simply how it is. It's not a matter of lacking honor. It is, once again, comes down to that drive and that desire to do whatever it takes to get the job done. The bottom line is, Vol'jin doesn't like you as much as you don't like him, and he really doesn't care about it at all. Honor is not a top priority for trolls. Survival is a top priority for trolls, and they have survived this long by doing exactly what Vol'jin has done. The last thing I want to note of any importance about the trolls is their lifespans. Now, whether or not you choose to believe the rumor mill about the night elves and therefore the blood elves ultimately being the descendants of the trolls, they have very short human-ish lifespans. Seeing a troll above the age of 70 is shocking considering most of them have died in battle before then. It's very similar to the orcs. If they, It's rare to see them die of old age. And lastly, we're going to talk about the Devoodoo. Now everybody thinks that the Voodoo is a bad thing, but it actually is very good. The voodoo is, is the belief that everything in nature has a spirit. Every plant, every stone, every creature has a spirit of its own. And some of these spirits have become quite powerful and are known as the Loa. The Loa are basically your gods and you every troll has the right to perform the services and the rites and the rituals to the Loa to get their favors. The voodoo ultimately is the troll's connection to the natural world and it is a deep one and the troll's connection to the natural world is the basis of a lot of what they do well that is going to be it for me and for this episode of how to rp and wow focused on the trolls thank you guys for watching remember if you like what you see and you want to see more don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to comment below and don't forget to subscribe I am, as always, Inquisitor Aura. Thank you so much for watching. Come back again. I'll have more of these guys coming up here soon. And we will see you again in the world of Warcraft.